Hi, I'm Julian Lara with the Tropical Fruit Growers of South Florida. Now, we're an association of farmers that specialize in growing tropical fruit. And if you want to buy these tropical fruits, you can go to our website, tropicalfruitgrowers.com, and get it there, and it'll be delivered to your house. Or you can go to the supermarket and talk to your produce manager. I'm in a dragon fruit planting here in the Redlands uh, agriculture area, 20 miles southwest of Miami, Florida. And dragon fruit is also known as pitaya, and pitaya is from the hot, arid regions of Central America. And pitaya, or dragon fruit, can grow in all the subtropical and tropical areas throughout the world and here in South Florida. Dragon fruit is a fruit that grows on this vine-like cactus and it's held up by this trellis and it flowers at night and the flower gives off this really nice sweet aromatic smell and it's pollinated at night by bats and moths and other insects and by bees in the morning but once it's pollinated it closes up in the morning and it takes about five to seven weeks for it to turn into a fruit and then the farmer knows when to pick it because it turns into this crimson red color and it's picked right off the tree or off the vine. Dragon fruit is picked and sent to the supermarket or it can be sent straight to your home. Now as beautiful as these dragon fruits are I think you're going to be amazed once you see what's inside of them. So let's go to the kitchen. Now we're in the kitchen and we got our dragon fruit with us and when you receive it from one of our growers, they come ripe, ready to eat, nice and red. And I know you want to know what it looks like inside, so let's cut it open. So what you do, you just cut it down the middle, all the way around, and just open it up. And as you can see, it's a white flesh with a lot of black seeds. and you can just grab a spoon and scoop out some flesh like so. You just put it in your mouth like this. Wow. Very sweet. And the seeds feel like sugar crystals when you bite into it. It's very good. Another way I like to slice them, it's kind of like, um, like a watermelon or avocado slice them like this and you can very easily peel the skin back like so and you're like this. I love it. Now there's not only white flesh um, dragon fruit, I also have red flesh and you cut it open the same way just straight down the middle and when you open it up surprise what a difference this is like blood red and you can get a spoon and scoop it out like an ice cream ball hmm the sugar content on this one is a little bit milder <clears throat> but it tastes really good like all dragon fruits now there's yellow skin dragon fruits also which are very sweet as well and you can also slice this like an avocado and peel the skin back. Look at that. Look at that color. Almost looks like a watermelon. Now a lot of people say dragon fruit tastes better chilled. So you can put them in a plastic bag like a Ziploc and throw them in the refrigerator and it should last you about three or four weeks. Or you can put them in the freezer and it can last you about a good year. Now dragon fruit tastes good fresh but they make good ice cream. They make great smoothies. Kids love them in yogurts. They're good with mixed drinks and they're good for adding flavor to drinks also. Now if you want to learn more about dragon fruit, you can go to our website tropicalfruitgrowers.com and look up one of our growers and also look for some neat recipes on dragon fruit. So check it out.